Are you up to date with the latest on California's assault weapons ban? Miller v. Bont is a constitutional challenge to California's assault weapons ban, which prohibits specific components of what the state argues is an assault weapon. If you have any questions about the original ban, click the link below to check out the original video on our page. Anyways, the Miller case has been working its way up the 9th District Court of Appeals. Saint, sorry, I mean Judge Benitez, originally ruled in favor of the plaintiffs, stating that California's assault weapons ban was unconstitutional under the Supreme Court Bruin standard. The state didn't like that, no surprise, so they appealed. A panel of three appeals judges heard oral arguments on January 24th, where the state and the plaintiffs reiterated their arguments for and against the ban. Plaintiffs argued that under the Bruin standard, assault weapons, like AR-15s, are commonly used for lawful purposes, mainly self-defense. This would mean that it's completely protected under the Bruin standard. Plaintiffs cited how more than 24 million assault weapons are owned in the U.S., meaning they're common enough to be covered by the plain text of the Second Amendment. That plain text standard is what the court told us to use back in Bruin in 2021. The state argued that assault weapons aren't covered by the Second Amendment. They tried arguing that their evidence proved that AR-15s and similar rifles are too similar to M16s, which have been banned since the 80s because they were too dangerous and unusual, thus not protected by the Second Amendment. The government also tried emphasizing that the government is allowed under Bruin to regulate a firearm based on its characteristics, regardless of whether it's in common use or not. The judges on the panel had a lot of questions for both sides. The question of circularity was brought up by both the state and the plaintiffs. By that I mean, they were describing the question, how can we tell if weapons are in common use if they're currently illegal under a ban, deterring people from using them? One judge also asked the government outright, what makes a weapon not in common use? And the counsel for the state fell back onto the characteristics argument from Heller despite the fact that Heller is no longer our standard. Judges also really hit on the issue of interest balancing. Bruin told us to abandon the interest balancing approach, but the state keeps pushing for it. Two minutes into the oral arguments, judges asked counsel how they would feel about a delay in the decision until Duncan, a similar California case that has to deal with a magazine ban. That case was already decided, but is making its way up to the Supreme Court of the United States, hopefully. Ultimately, the judges decided to take this path delaying a formal decision on Miller and keeping a stay until Duncan gets resolved. So you can't buy those sweet AKs and ARs just yet. Subscribe to stay updated with this case and more.